And last but not least, in fact, first, are the sweet peppers. Quite a few. I love sweet peppers. You just don't need too many of the hot peppers, at least in this house. I might make a taco sauce or a hot sauce and add them to some Thai food, but generally. Let's see. This is an orange rawia. Chocolate sneaker. First year for me. Bill Striped, first year. This is an unnamed sweet pepper. We'll see how it does. That's from a breeding project. Collage. Prairie Sweet, living in the prairie. I have high hopes for this one. Dolce di Minervino. Also, artisan seeds. Very sweet and almost no seeds in them. It's amazing. Highly recommend. Violet Sparkle, just for some color. This is Quadrato, Quadrato di Asti, Quadrato di Asti Rosso, a red bell. Old favorite, Jimmy Nardello, very sweet. These are teeny cute little red bells, Cupid Peppers. Giant Aconcagua, probably how that's pronounced. Second year. Giant Sweet Devils from Bunny Hop Seeds. Murrows, top three sweet pepper ever, 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 always grow. And Ganji, year three, I believe. Yellow Monster for a big one for my husband. He likes bell peppers, and these are very large. Not sure what this one is. Oh, Lunchbox. A little orange pepper. Top three, Yellow Corno di Toro. Here is the red version. First year trying the red version. I'm sure it's as delicious as the yellow. Favorite top three, very sweet habanada. And corbachi, very early, very sweet. And those are the peppers of 2024.